Yeah, though, Sheriff says regional jails could be the solution to the problems at Parchment and other state prisons, but they say it won't come without a cost. I want to say to our legislators. Mississippi sheriffs who run regional jails across the state came to the state capitol Wednesday to demand more money to keep the jails open. We have been here before talking to you about the region jail. This meeting is very crucial. We're not here to criticize. We're not here to point fingers at what should have been, but we're here to try to offer help. There are 15 regional jails that house low security state inmates. The sheriffs say three years ago, the Department of Corrections reduced the daily per diem they pay for each prisoner from $29.74 to $23.94. I just can't afford to hold inmates at that price. I'll actually be spending out more money than coming in. I got, I got uh, employees there, been there eight or nine years, they ain't have a pay raise. The Regional Jails Association said a 2018 peer report found that it cost more than $54 a day to house an inmate at Parchman. The sheriffs believe regional jails could be the solution to problems at Parchman and the state prison system. When we go into a regional jail, most of the time, you can look down on the floor and you can comb your hair by the reflection. It's so clean. We got to have somewhere to send people right now. I'm not talking about at the end of the session. We need a place to send people right now. Now, the sheriffs say it would cost about $50 million or more from the state to increase the amount that they're asking for to house those inmates and to increase the number of inmates in those regional jails. They say in the long run, it could save the state more than $20 million each year. Now, it sounds like a lot of numbers, but that's part of what lawmakers are discussing as they look for ways to reform the prison system. Live at the state capitol, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.